Tell a friend and tell a friend that do it all hollers in. And we are back with another NBA 2K23 Next Gen Build video. And today I have a special center build for you guys. You know I like to show love to the centers. And this center right here will get gold bullet passer. That's very important for any build. Not only do you get the gold bullet passer, but you do get Hall of Fame break starting. That's very, very important for any center. And you will be able to get those contact dunks, good standing dunk on this build, fast twitches up. Um, you do have some good defense as well. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you guys how I created this masterpiece. We are going to send a position to the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is, man. It's like button time. Go down there, hit that like button, get this video to 50 likes. That's the goal. I need you guys to do that for your boy. So do that right now. So with this build, seven foot tall, that's what we're going with. You can change the height. You may you want to go up. You may want to go down. I don't know. That's totally up to you. 234 on the weight, 75 wingspan, so we can get that 85 three-point shot. Built body shape is if you careful because I still don't care about that body shape. Let's go. And as you guys can see, we are starting with the finishing on this build because we do want to be a good finisher at the rim. I'm not saying you're going to be uh, out there with gold post rides, elite contact dunks and all that, but we want to be able to finish when we get to the rim. So with the close shot, we're going to get that up to a 75, and that way we can get that fast switch on silver as you guys can see. For the driving layup, we're going to get that up to a 71. Keep in mind, we're trying to save attribute points because the 85 3 costs you a lot and the uh, gold bullet pass will cost you a lot as well. So for the driving dunk, we're going to get that up to an 86. Okay, the 86 will allow us to get posterizer on silver, as you can see. We also get limited takeoff on gold, and we will get those contact dunks. Um, for the standard dunk, we're going to take that up to an 80. And the 80 is very important because you get that rise up on silver. That's a very important badge on any build that is tall and that's going to finish at the rim. For the post control, we didn't do anything to that. You can change that if you want to. Uh, we just left it right there. So for the badge count, we do get 16 finishing badges. Didn't really want to go overboard on the finishing for this build. We just wanted this build to have some okay finishing. But at the same time, I want to use badges like fast twitch. Rise up, posterizer, uh, slithery, limited takeoff, and fearless finish. So, so that's uh, 3, 5, 7, 11, uh, 17, 23. Okay, that's 23 bags that we need. We got 16, we'll get a plus 6. So that will put us at 22. We'll need to add one from the rebirth to get what we need on this build. And everything after that is just icing on the cake. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream badger. This build can't shoot, no doubt about it. So we're going to take the three point shot all the way up to 85, like I said. Uh, you will be able to shoot lights out with this build, and you're a great passer. So this build has a lot of plus that you can work with on any center. For the mid-range shot, we're going to leave that at a 71, and the free throw is a 62. And as you can see, we do get 18 green bean make your girl screen badges on this build. 18 is, is good for any build, in my opinion. I like to get around 16, 17 to 18. Um, anything over that, man, you really, really doing good. So... Don't put no stress on trying to get it to 20 plus, man. I don't think you need that many badges. But, you know, I don't play like a lot of people, so I don't need that many badges. So with uh, with that being said, with the 18, I will most definitely go with corner specialist, catch and shoot, Claymore. Uh, we'll throw in Amped. We'll throw in Volume Shooter. And I don't know if you guys want to use this limited range on this build, but I would probably use that on this build given the fact that I have an 85 three-point shot. Normally on my centers, man, I stay around 76, 77 three-point shot. But that's just me. I'm not suggesting that to anybody. I'm not telling you you can't be a great shooter with a 76 because everybody's different. Uh, I may get an 80 some three-point shot. It can't shoot as good. And, I, you know, I get used to shooting with a low three-point shot, and that's just what I like to do. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button. And let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody named mama can see this video. And I need everybody named mama to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Now, I told you guys you have great passes. So we're going to get the pass accuracy all the way up to a 86. A 86 pass accuracy will change the name of the bill, first of all. And it will give you gold needle thread. As you can see, we had 13 badges right now. We're going to leave it right there. But if you want this gold needle thread, you'll have to add like... You had to add some extra badges, okay? But, um, you know, that's up to you guys. I didn't try to get that many badges because I would have to take the ball handle up, the speed would ball up, and I probably had to add some more to the pass actually just to get you to 17 
So I just left it like that. You could take some of the rebirth badges and do what you want to do with those because that will really help you out. Um, the main thing I want you guys to focus on is this break starter, man. Having break starter on your build, it will make you pass like a point guard. Trust me on that. I see a lot of centers out there with gold break starter, and when they catch the ball, they pass the ball up the court on time on target. Your teammates don't have to wait around for the ball. They can catch the pass and just go up with it or, you know, shoot or do whatever it is they need to do. And I would also probably use a vice grip. Maybe clamp breaker and handle for days. That's if you like to dribble. Uh, me personally, I may do a move or two, but I'm not just going to sit up there and try to size up with no center when I need to be in the paint. So while I leave the ball handler to the ball handlers, unless I can really dribble with that particular build. But let's go ahead and get into the defense and the rebound and badge, right? Of course, we want defense on this build, and we're going to start with an interior defense and take that up to an 85. Our 85 interior defense is really, really good in my opinion. You can take it up high if you want to. That's totally up to you. You do have access to post lockdown. You do have brick wall. And um, you do get some other badges that I don't think you really should just put in an emphasis on, like pick dodge, all ball, pest, challenge, and all that. You know, just stick to the big man badge and do what you need to do in the paint. For the perimeter defense, excuse me, we're going to get that up to a uh, 54. And for the um, steel, we don't add anything on the steel. We're just going to leave it like that. 54 on the um, perimeter defense to just to get an extra badge and to get that lateral quickness. So we're not necessarily worried about that too much. For the block, we're going to at least get that block up to a 93. A 93 block will allow us to get that chase down artist on Hall of Fame, as you guys can see. We also get ankle on goal, pogo on goal, so you will be able to block a lot of shots. For the rebound, we're going to get the offensive rebound to 85, and the defensive rebounder is a 93, so we can get gold rebound chaser. Okay, and we get 26 total badges. Of course, we want rebound, chase the pogo, anchor, chase down, box. Uh, we could throw in brick wall as well, and everything else just icing on the cake. That's totally up to you. But make sure you have what you need for this build. And uh, look at the combination, man. 16, 18, 13, and 26. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and get it to the physical. We're going to take that speed up to a 74. Acceleration is a 67. Strength, we just took the strength up to an 80. Some of you may want to take that up. That's totally up to you. Uh, when I first created the build, I had it up higher than that. But I just took it down to 80. I think an 80 is okay. You know, you won't get pushed around in the paint too much with that. For the vert, we're going to get that to a 75. And the rest is on stamina. Now, now let's get it to the takeover. So, we have uh, sharpshooting, rim protector, and rebounder. You can choose what you want to choose. That's totally up to you. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we do have shades of... Yusuf Nurkic, uh, DeMontis, DeMontez Sabonis, uh, he's really, really good. Then we got Jack Sigma right there, and the build is a two-way diamond inside out score at the center position. That's the build. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, no matter your man. Charge!